talk about whatever art history you want. We're making well, educational videos. Education. Woo, okay. Tell me what's wrong with this statue. Oh, so, apparently they think that it's a female head, but according to the one of the origin stories of Athena, it was that Zeus got a horrible headache, and so he asked the blacksmith god, what Hephaestus, Hephaestus to We're crack Vulcan. his skull open to see what was wrong, which was apparently a godly thing to do. But anyway, so when he cracked his skull open, Athena popped out. So it's a little awkward because I don't think this is female. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Zeus because there's no actual reason why Athena would be perched on top of another female's head. But it says Nike, not Athena. Athena is Nike, and she's a, Nike is technically a victory sign, but it's vice versa for Athena is what a Nike is. Tune in next time to Your Museum is Wrong and You Should Feel Wrong. So I'm going to be emailing Jen and asking her about this. Also the museum. Also possibly the museum to inform them. But it could also be two people's opposing theories because they do that a lot and then they just pick the one that they like more. So there could be probably like 10 other art historians that are really angry about this and are just like writing papers and this is probably cited in their horribly long education papers. 10 of the 12 art historians in, in the, the world, world are angry about this and the two are so proud. One probably works here. Who does it resemble? Okay, so it resembles Tiberius, um, who was the first Roman emperor to choose that, to be that his, be his pose on the Roman coin. And then it became this huge thing after a while because he's unshaven, so he's like boy and young and he's new and not, because they were really hating on the old people then. They were like saying how they were destroying their entire culture. So they liked new young people who were like hip. So this is representation. <laughs> What was I saying? You just described it as hip, and I lost. I, I lost it. Yeah. So this would have been the like newfangled version of depicting yourself for the coins to get half of the people to vote for you, and then the other half were really torn. And so later on, they switched back to like the really mature, with very large, manly beards later. But this, and he's actually supposed to be looking up towards God because the divine is showing him how to rule. So that is why his gate is going there and not at the viewer. It's a sarcophagus, but it's really weird because females generally didn't get to be on a sarcophagus by themselves. They were with their hubbies or significant dead others. So that's a little weird. Um, probably means she was some form of royalty or super, super rich, one of the two. And that is all that I know. And actually her clothing is very strange. Why? because most of the time you didn't cover your head unless you were a virgin. So when you were all virginal, your head was covered and then you would uncover it after marriage. It's a little weird and that crown is not at all like anything. It's more like that's awkward. And you told me you couldn't tell me anything about this without looking at the little thing. A dead woman, her name is inscribed on me. She wears a tunic and high girdle, blah blah blah. She was actually 50 at the time of her death. A reconstruction of her appearance at this age is shown. Oh, that's beautiful. Does that actually tell you who she was? Yeah. Okay. This isn't the crazy one. This is the one that was murdered by the crazy exactly. one. Exactly. This is the obvious heir to the throne who was murdered by his brother who really wanted the throne and stepmom who thought her son should have the throne. No, not stepmom. It was his actual mom, which makes it even more uncomfortable because it was his real mother. just felt that the other son was more suitable. And they tried to erase him from history and mail failed so badly because there's like little family portraits on the back of coins, but he's just awkwardly scratched out so you can still see there was a person there. But that's why like 
It's really broken, and it's really hard to find a lot of the things from him because they destroyed everything he was in, except for the awkward coins. The Parthenon was kind of awkward. The horse was like dripping over the edge of its thing. It was kind Where? of awkward. It was. Because it's supposed to be really high up. And it was like maybe this high up compared to Eyelime. Hide it up. What? All the stuff, all the pediment and the yeah. freezes and stuff. Half and went to New York and oh, yeah, half of it came to London. Exactly. None for Greece. None for Gretchen Wieners. Bye. Yeah, because Greece wants it back, but. So the British Museum was all like, sure, you can have it back. You just have to pay to have it transported. And transported, by the way, you know, the priceless, very, very old things. And so now Greece just doesn't get to have it. And they built a museum for it because the British Museum was like, you don't have anywhere to display it, so we're not going to give it to you. And then the Greece are like, but look, now we built this really awesome museum. And they're like, okay, so pay for it. And now it's awkward. And the guy who donated to the British Museum stole it to begin with. But that's not engraved on the wall. It says given. So that's if it was in Latin, it would say stolen. Exactly. Everything sounds much more heroic in Latin. We are at the Tate Modern, which is a modern art museum, <laughs> in case the name was confusing. And am I supposed to be talking about the themes? Are you sure. Well, there's like five, maybe five, I don't actually know for sure, I'm guessing by my education. There's like probably five themes that run through all art. Sex is number one, possibly could also be number two with how much it runs through all of art. But the other would be religion. And then history and or war, it depends on what time period because a lot of history kind of equals war 97% of the time. War and government because 60s, 70s, and around there would have been more government and anti-government and things like that. And then there's those propaganda, which goes underneath history. It's a subcategory. And now I've run out of categories. I did religion. Mm -hmm. I feel like just recording random events is also yeah. one. Oh, also psychology. What about psychology is crazy in modern art. What about just like yeah, psychology, but like daily life too. Yeah. Like, don't we just like, this is the chair in my room. I feel like that's mockery of Van Gogh because he has a, he has a like painting Van Gogh. called the chair. I, I love know. Van Gogh. And his bedroom and all sorts of things like that. I know. Van Gogh I like Van Gogh. Happiness. But and did you know he didn't like, kill himself? They discovered this. He was killed. After everything, he did not commit suicide. Aww. He was killed. But, um, fun fact for you, the manically depressive artist that everyone thinks killed himself did not. <laughs> yes. But, but I just feel like uh, things we see happens yeah. a lot, too. I was not mocking Van Gogh. I was mocking the Little Tykes chair that was a part of a modern art exhibit in the Walker. Little Tykes chair? Yep. It was a Little Tykes chair with Kleenex on it. You can ask my mom about it. That was also Banksy's when she... Banksy's the one? Yes. The, the Little Tykes chair was about pushed her over the edge from modern art because she's like, that's in my house. That's not modern art. Banksy was the one who purchased a urinal and just like... I don't know, this was like probably 30 years ago, so they looked at it, but it was like a little one like this. Wrote his name, Banksy was here. Submitted it into an art gallery, got into the art gallery. They realized what it was, decided that was a little uncomfortable, had to cover it with a curtain because it was no longer appropriate for viewers. I don't understand And he art. was commentary, commenting on what can get into a museum, and he said, if this can get into a museum, then you really need to reevaluate what you consider to be art. Well, I and he agree submitted with him it to a one. modern art museum, and that really is why agree. he does street art and does not submit. Yeah, there was something earlier about how the lovely painted one color canvas in the 90s, 80s or the 90s. The red canvas that we just painted red in its no, entirety. No, black too was also. Um, there was a Russian artist who did it for propaganda during the time, the dark 90s in Russia when everyone was drinking themselves to death. They still do that. It's less <clears throat> so now because most 
to them are dead. <laughs> all, the, all the people who didn't like the change of government drank themselves to death, and they were mainly men. I know. year old men. And then all the punk rockers merged because they weren't being, like, you know, yelled at for being a punk rocker. So, yes, not all of the plain covered canvas are just some dude painting a canvas one color. Most of the time, they actually have meaning behind it also. A lot of the time, it's layers of separate colors and not them just painting with one color. I'm gonna dramatic zoom on Picasso. More Picassos. It looks kind of like a bunny to me. I think it looks like a heart. I think it's modern art. It can be interpreted either way. I'm Hold on. Let me go you're read wrong. it. Let me go read it. I'm saying I think it looks like a heart. If it's all little like arteries and stuff. Hold on. Hold on. I think it's called fruit. So it's supposed to be. It's natural and organic forms are supposed to be. <laughs> the idea of growing and living things. Therefore, it could be a bunny. Or it could be a heart. It does. It's Hearts not individual. Hearts are growing, living things. No, it's not. How are you alive right now? Excuse me? But I don't know. <laughs> it's just supposed to be the idea of growing and living things. It's a bunny. It's a heart. It's a bunny's heart. How about that? We're definitely legions. Ah. So I was going to interpret that in different ways, but now all I can see is leeches. So damn you and your leech lens. Because apparently I have a leech lens. You do now. Ah, leeches. The leech work is apparently abstract and echoing the natural world. So, so it's, it's whatever you want. <laughs> so it's leeches. I don't want it to be, but it is. It's leeches. Uh, so, the lines in modern art, they're not called lines, there's a technical term, and they're called zips. Not lines, zips. I figure if we sit here long enough, some of this art might make sense. 